Hello, this is Pastor Jeff Short for another edition of Christian Answers. And today we're going to be hearing from a Christian brother in Toronto, Canada, Mario Bryson, as he presents the Kim Burrell controversy. Kim Burrell is a gospel singer, a very world famous gospel singer, and she is under attack for believing Christian morality, for actually believing in the morality of the Bible and Christianity. She is now being attacked, she's being persecuted, she's being marginalized in the entertainment world because of her Christian views. And so we're going to hear from Mario Bryson of Toronto, Canada on his program today and he's going to present this. I hope you listen to it and begin to pray because we are going to face more and more of this kind of persecution in the name of Jesus Christ. So God bless and now let's watch the presentation. All right. Hey everyone, it's TVC Mario and you're here for another Sign of the Times report. In today's video, I wanted to go ahead and do a follow-up to this video that I uploaded earlier today called Bigot Christian Hater Ellen Attacks Christian for Personal Beliefs. If you haven't seen the video, I'll go ahead and leave it linked up in the description section below. What I covered is the story right now that's being talked about regarding Ellen DeGeneres and Kim Burrell. Kim Burrell is a gospel Christian singer and uh, she made some remarks about homosexuals that didn't go over so well with Ellen. And if you go on to read about the story, she actually refuses uh, to have her on her show and then goes on to blast her and the media is calling her a homophobe and all this stuff. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, discuss this here with you and specifically talk about Pharrell. Uh, I can't play the video. Uh, Ellen Tube here on YouTube always sends a copyright strike. But anyways, I'll go ahead and just tell you, he goes and talks about how there can be no room uh, for prejudice. And he condemns uh, Kim Burrell for her statements on homosexuals, uh, where she said that, uh, you know, certain homosexuals were uh, an embarrassment and uh, that, uh, you know, it's perverted. Now, I know that that might be offensive to someone who's from the LGBT homosexual community, but I'm sorry. Sometimes, you know, beliefs and truths that, that people believe in uh, are offensive to other people. Uh, but it's not that, you know, people like myself or Kim Burrell believe that homosexuality is a sin and a sexual perversion because we are hateful. That's ridiculous. The reason that we come to this is we believe in the inspiration of Scripture, uh, meaning that we believe that the Bible is wholly inspired by God, that God wrote the Bible through the 66, uh, well, the, the, well, the 66 different books and about the 40 authors that uh, wrote them. Okay, so God spoke to us, and in the scriptures, it's clear, okay, that, that, that this is a perversion, okay? In Romans chapter 1, verse 26 to 32, it talks about homosexuals. It's, it says, for this cause, God gave them up to vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another, men with men, working what is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was mean. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and, and just show you this from scripture, and I'm sorry if this is offensive to someone who finds themselves to be struggling with homosexual and uh, be struggling with their sexuality. And you might even think, well, God made me this way. No, we're in a fallen world. There's sin in the world, and that's just the particular sin that you deal with. And yes, okay, there's other sins, and I'm not saying I'm any better. Uh, we're all sinners, and we all need God's grace. But a, a biblical worldview holds to homosexuality being a sexual perversion. This is, in fact, what the scriptures teach. So when you, in fact, are doing what Ellen is doing, and you're condemning someone like Kim Burrell for simply expressing our beliefs, um, that's wrong, okay? That's the hypocrisy. That's the bigotry. That's the Christianophobe, okay? 
Um, there are embarrassments to the homosexual community, and I've documented this. If you don't believe so, watch this. Gay pride participants mock Jesus and the Bible in a disturbing way. I'll go ahead and leave it linked up in the description section. There are many homosexuals within the LGBT community that are an embarrassment to the homosexual community, and I know many other homosexuals would agree with me. Okay, so Ellen should agree that her whole community, the LGBT group, is not some sinless, perfect group that no one can say anything about. Okay, we're entitled to our beliefs. We're entitled to say that you guys have adopted a sexuality that we deem perverted and unnatural and against what was designed. And you can, in a free country, adopt the belief that you can, and we can live amongst each other. We don't need to do this type of stuff. Ellen doesn't need to be a Christian hater. Okay, and always, always be supporting everyone from the LGBT community and all those who think and, and say exactly the same regurgitated stuff that she says. Okay, if she truly was open minded, if she truly was tolerant and loving to all people, she would have Kim Burrell on her show because Kim Burrell is, in fact, someone who symbolizes someone who has a complete opposite belief system. So, the most challenging thing Ellen DeGeneres could do as an individual to love is love on Kim Burrell, despite the fact that Kim Burrell personally has belief that in the Bible and the Bible that it teaches that homosexuality is a sin. But she can't, of course, no, she has to do this entire thing and be like, no, I'm not going to have her on my show. Have uh, Pharrell come on here, of course, a celebrity to back her up. She needs that star power. This is all designed, by the way. This is an attack against uh, the body of Christ here to make us look bigoted. You're going to see the, the headlines all over the place calling her a Christianophobe. And because it's coming from people like Pharrell, Ellen, the mainstream media, people are just going to buy into it and go, oh, there's those Christians again. That's the propaganda. That's how they lie to people and brainwash them to hate Christians. And that's how we see the reality of Christianophobia growing in the culture. Okay. We have an entirely homo, uh, homosexual Hollywood. I mean, go do your research. Even on, on hip hop, it's taken over by a gay mafia, according to, to main people in the, uh, the hip hop industry. Okay. So do a little bit of research, a clue in here. Uh, this victimization of homosexuals, like everyone's out to get them, that's, a, that's hogwash. That's nonsense. If you're a Christian and you talk about having beliefs in the Bible, all of a sudden your career's done, you get this kind of stuff, you're labeled a homophobe, no one's going to want to work with Kim Burrell anymore, etc. Okay? And I'm not even, I don't even know Kim Burrell. I don't even know how good of a Christian she is regardless. That's for her. Uh, I'm not even going to take the time to investigate. I'd have to get to know her personally. I'm just showing you here what is happening in the culture through Ellen, the liberal, mainstream media type of Christian hating that we're seeing displayed here. Clearly, okay? Um, the hypocrisy here saying that uh, people like Kim Burrell are prejudiced, you know? having preconceived opinion that are not based on reality or actual experience. How do you know, Pharrell? How do you know that she hasn't dealt with intolerant, bigoted homosexuals, okay, who are an embarrassment? How do you know she wasn't at this gay pride parade where they mocked her messiah, our messiah, okay? And I, I'm not even going to show you the repulsive ones. Do your investigation on homosexual parades and how they mock Jesus. The imagery is so disturbing, so evil. I, I, no, I mean, it's, it's literally the level of, what, what are they called there? The Westboro Baptists, who I don't associate with, who are devils, who misrepresent Jesus and the Bible and all his principles. But either way, it's the homosexual version of that. They're in the community out there, okay? How do you know she hasn't ran into them? And, and dealt with them, you know? So anyways, I wanted to go ahead and just cover this and just hammer this out. Please don't be deceived by this homophobic remark nonsense. This is a Christianophobe attack by Christian-hating bigot Ellen who is pretending to be oh so open-minded and tolerant and loving of everyone, but when it comes to born-again evangelical Christians who believe in the Bible, she is hateful, close-minded, and bigoted. So she's a hypocrite. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Stay vigilant and fear no evil. I have had a lot of years in the eye of the public doing what it is I do.
and everything that I've ever done has never ever been just for the public. I'm signing on here because people matter. And I'm not running from anything. I love you guys too. Don't you all listen to me. Listen to me. Don't you become frazzled. We're not in a war against flesh and blood. We're not in a war with that. Hi to everyone. We're not in a war against flesh and blood. I came on because I care about God's creation. And every person from the LGBT and anything else, any other kind of thing that is supporting gay. I never said LGBT last night. I said S-I-N. And whatever falls under sin was preached. Now what was posted was not all I preached to. But only that. Isn't that something? That is designed of the enemy to make it look like I have a personal agenda against people. It's a heartbreak, but it's the world we live in. We fight for so much, but for the right thing. To the carnal, all things are carnal. And to the spiritual, all things are spiritual. Don't you understand? I know that people are going to be mad. I have to do what God tells me to do. And I'm passionate about what I do. And when people take it personal, especially if we've never met, you know that the enemy is setting that up. I only signed on for a short while to let y'all know, don't you dare be discouraged. Don't you dare let what these people are saying think that it's rocking my world. Mm -mm. I'm not to be shaken because I'm out here for God. And I came on here because I love people. To every person that is dealing with the homosexual spirit that has it. I love you because God loves you. But God hates the sin in you and me. Anything that is against the nature of God. I'm called to do what God called me to do. And that's it. And I do it with passion. Just as I pray all of you will. Live with passion. Do what you do with passion. I love all of you who support me. All of you who have supported me. And decided that you don't want to support me. After what you saw. And what the enemy is trying to make it look like. Give me a break. There are a lot of people that I'm aware of. That struggle or deal. Or have that spirit. Have I discriminated against them? Have I ever outright told them I don't love you and you going to hell? Why would, who gives me the right to say that I'm telling someone that they're going to hell? I don't get that call. There's a responsibility that we have in the church to represent the almighty God. Mm -hmm. And it is wrong mm -hmm. for us. It is wrong for us to gather that as we rep God, that we take his place. Don't think I'm there. I'm not that shallow. I'm not that shallow. I make no excuses or apologies. My heart is as pure as it comes. And y'all know when you hear me sing, that's why you follow me. You wouldn't be mad at me if you didn't love me first. You wouldn't be hurt if you didn't love me first. I'm on here to get clarity so y'all have some understanding to the ones who love me, who are supporting me. No, honey, ain't no backtracking. I don't have to backtrack. Nobody's backtracking. I'm showing the love of God to speak to that teachable spirit that will hear it. Ain't no backtrack. I've been out of here too long speaking strong to backtrack. I'm not going to get into no one-on-one -on -one with spirits that don't understand. But I love you guys. You pray for me. I'm praying for you. And we all going somewhere one day. It's according to how we live about what he likes. I give my part of it. You give yours. Okay? Okay, everybody, everybody stay strong, man. You know, stay strong. Don't, don't, honey, don't y'all fight. Don't please, and listen, all y'all who love me, do not retaliate. It's not about retaliation, because it wasn't anything who that was personal. It would be personal if I told someone to their face. I talked to the spirit of that thing, and I won't take it back. I love you guys. I love you guys. Off to do the work of the Lord again. <laughs> and 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 all don't be silly. I'm not laughing. I'm not I'm not being carnal and silly. I'm laughing because I'm excited because of the joy of the Lord that's in my heart. And those who can really read the Spirit of God know what I'm saying. Those who cannot, all I have to offer you is prayer and my condolences. Okay. 
Okay. Love you guys. I love you guys. Okay. Bye. It's almost hard for me to sign off. <laughs> Y'all better probably don't you retaliate. Did George, I mean it. <laughs> Nobody retaliate. Now, y'all spread this video, okay? Okay, night-night. I'm going back. Bye-bye. Okay, here's my final post, really. Um, and the only reason I'm giving this attention is so many people seem to be affected by something that is such a lie. I never said that all gays were going to hell. That never came out of my mouth. Y'all quit spreading that. And if you're going to listen to the video, listen, right? All of y'all that's so upset saying I said all gay. That's incompetent, it's childish, it's not of my nature, natural or spiritual. People are going to want to believe what they want to believe. I am so done with it. I, I'm appreciative of, of social media tonight because it gets so much said um, to so many people all at once. Okay? I love you guys too. Y'all just continue. I know y'all love those, those of you who love me and all and y'all reading all of this stuff and don't, don't, it's to shake you and to move you about what you know about me. People who know me, they know better than what y'all trying to make it look like. So to all of y'all that are upset for some reason, my heart goes out so badly because it's like you want to be mad and you want to believe that I came against the gays. You want to believe. That is so demonic. I was addressing church people. See? See how misconstrued y'all got it? I was addressing church people, and let's get even more specific. Ones who were in my church, my church, where I pastor. And that's what's so demonic about all of this. Kim Burrell says that gays are going to hell. Really? Stop it. Y'all stop it. Go to bed. And all y'all that's sending rainbows, read what God really sent the rainbow for. Okay? Now stop, because y'all going to make me make it personal. Because y'all are making it personal. Stop it. You're attacking a person who did not attack you. Go rest your minds. I never said God was killing a gay in 2017. I said people who operate with that spirit in the church with deception and attack themselves are going to have to face the master. That's what I said. And that death is attached to their behavior. Now, if that's you, okay. But I never said LGBT. Gays are going to die in 2017. Y'all stop that. All right, rest easy. Rest easy. All y'all have been wanting, y'all don't like me. <laughs> yeah. All y'all say, we've been supporting you. I have yet to sell a million records. So where are all of y'all at? We've been the ones supporting you. I have yet to win a Grammy. Where is the support for real? Since that's, that's the street y'all gonna go on. Don't try to go right when you're going left. Night, night, for real. I'm, I'm done being bothered. I'm doing this for the people that, that, that love me and that's being bothered by it, truly. I just made 44 and I'm the full version of it. I'm very, very mature. And all of y'all that's choosing to be mad because y'all not really getting the full story, you want to be mad. Anybody says the three-letter word, but y'all can be against everything and everybody that y'all mad at and pop off and, and, and go to blows over it, but don't want nobody to talk about that. That's hypocritical. All right, night, night. All right, hey everyone, it's TVC Mario, and you're here for a video I wanted to make to share this news with you. Kim Burrell's radio show pulled after gay comments. Now, if you haven't seen the previous videos that I've done covering this news story, I'll go ahead and leave them linked up in the description section below. But just to let you know briefly what's going on, it all started with Ellen. She went ahead and decided that she was no longer going to have Kim Burrell on her show to perform, because she had seen a clip uh, taken from a Facebook live feed when uh, Burrell was in fact preaching a sermon at her church in Houston, Texas. And the thing that really triggered Ellen, the LGBT media, etc., is quote unquote, the perverted homosexual spirit. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that what is actually going on here is persecution against Christians, okay? This is not a homophobe. This is not an anti-gay individual like the mainstream media wants you to believe. They want you to believe that Kim Burrell is nothing more than a Westboro Baptist, truly, truly gay-phobic, hating 
person. But that's not exactly what's going on here at all. No, no, this is the mind warp. This is what they want the, the masses to believe. And if you actually watch the video that I uploaded where Kim Burrell actually shares with you from her own perspective what is going on, it becomes so evident, so clear that she's not hateful, that she loves homosexuals. And the reason that she is confronting the sin of homosexuality in her own church, which she should be able to do in the privacy of her own church, in her own life, is not hateful. She's in fact trying to help the homosexual community. Okay, but what we have here is this triggered LGBT community in the world at large now who are interpreting this story, twisting it in a way that then presents Kim Burrell as some type of hateful, uh, homophobic, anti-gay woman. And uh, look at this. I mean, it goes even as far as she loses her radio show, okay, for simply believing the Bible. The Bible says, and I I, I don't care if this triggers you. I don't care if this offends you. This is my personal belief, and how dare you even attempt, attempt to try and tell me what to think, to be the thought police, okay? My belief is in the Bible, and the Bible is clear that homosexuality is an unnatural, perverted sexual orientation that is a result of our fallen nature and sin in the world. Now, I'll give it to you. There are other sins. Homosexuality, oftentimes, by many professing Christians, is made to be a bigger sin than others. And I don't believe that is to true. There are all sorts of sin. We all fall short of the glory of God. We all need God's grace. Homosexual, murderer, uh, fornicator, it doesn't matter. We all need God's grace, okay? But a biblical worldview holds fast to the scriptures that clearly show that homosexuality, according to the book of Romans, is an unnatural sexual um, perversion, okay? Uh, So I'm sorry if that triggers you. Don't come into our churches. This is what we believe. This is what we're going to preach. We're allowed to believe this. We don't come to this belief because we hate, by the way. Kim Burrell did not hate homosexuals. She was not a, a homophobic person and went, man, I hate homosexuals so much that I'm going to start being a Christian because that's that's how I can justify my hatred for homosexuals. No, she had a real spiritual experience with the Lord Jesus Christ in her personal life. She has a personal relationship, a personal faith. She believes in her own belief system that the Bible is inspired and that it is the word of God. And anyone with half the capacity of comprehension or reading skills that actually can look at what the Bible says clearly, even in the New Testament, it condemns homosexuality as a sin and a sexual perversion. Okay? along with all the other sins that we need to be made right with and forgiven of, okay? But do not be deceived, and everyone else who's not a Christian, who's tuning into this, don't believe the lie. She's not a homophobe, okay? What is actually happening is these are Christianophobes. They hate Christians, okay? Start paying attention to that. These are the biggest hypocrites you're ever going to see in your life. These are the ones that are intolerant. These are the ones that are bigoted. It's funny. Ellen, why doesn't she have Kim on her show? Why isn't she so open-minded? Why isn't she so tolerant and loving to people who hold a completely different opposing worldview? You see, this this life situation exposes Ellen for the bigot, close-minded person that she truly is is parading and masquerading herself to be so tolerant and open-minded but it's only to the lesbian community people clue in okay so she's not tolerant she's closed-minded and bigoted if you don't believe the same thing that ellen believes when it comes to homosexuality and it being a sin or not she either hates you or loves you that's how intolerant and bigoted this woman is Okay, someone else who believes that homosexuality isn't a sin, I would have them on my show. I I would try and spend time with them to love on them and to be kind to them and show them the love of Jesus Christ. Just because I disagree doesn't mean I don't love them. That's what they want you to warp your brain to think right now. That disagreement actually means hatred. And that's not true. We can still love you guys, but disagree. We disagree with your lifestyle, just like you disagree with our interpretation of the Bible. So let's just get along and and move on. Stop with this insanity, okay? 
This is hypocrisy. This is bigotry. This is the world that we live in trying to make Christians who simply stand up for the truth of God out to be hateful bigots. Nothing more than Westboro Baptist, but that's a lie. Take the time, watch her video. She has love for the homosexuality and so much love that she's speaking out against the sin of homosexuality. Okay? That is true love, by the way. What she is actually doing is loving on homosexuals by confronting them about their sin and their need to get right with God. That is what you do when you love someone. Okay, but you wouldn't understand that if you don't know God because you don't understand salvation. You don't understand that there's a coming judgment. You don't believe in those things, so that's fine. But we do, okay? And it would be wrong for us to not go around and try and help our fellow man who we believe will end up on the day of judgment before a righteous God and not be able to enter into the kingdom of God because their sins will not be justified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Your sins need to be wiped out. And that includes everything, homosexuality, theft, all of it, doesn't matter, okay? But what Kim Burrell did was right, confronting the sin of homosexuality. And what we're seeing now with this kind of insanity, her being persecuted to the point of losing her radio show, is a sign of the times. Jesus said, in fact, okay, pay attention to this. If you go and read the prophecies about Jesus' second coming, he says that all nations of the world are going to turn and hate Christians. We are literally seeing this take place in the world. Do not be deceived. This is a very sinister agenda to warp the minds of people because one day they are going to try and exterminate us from society. Jesus told us that. Before Hitler was able to holocaust the Jews, what he had to do was convince the people, the German people, that they were worthless, that they were garbage, that they were hateful and all this stuff. And this is what's being done to Christians today. There's a subliminal war against God coming from hell would and you need to wake up and the mainstream satanic media okay all things christian are being twisted okay they want you to think that we're all like this and you guys aren't using your brain enough to distinguish between this and this okay and then you turn and you treat us the ones that are loving on you like the ones that are hating on you okay pure whackness but anyways everyone i wanted to go ahead and, and cover this she even says to every person who is dealing with the homosexual spirit that has it, I love you and God loves you, but God hates the sin in you and me. Anything that is against the nature of God, that's beautiful, that's true, that's biblical. If you have a problem with that, if you're triggered by that, if you think it's wrong for her to believe that, you have a problem, you're intolerant, you're bigoted. Why can't she believe that? That's what the Bible teaches, by the way, and that's what a true Christian will end up interpreting by proper interpretation of the scriptures. And if that triggers you, then you seriously have to, you, you, you need some help, okay? You need to get along in life and not be so triggered by everything and be so hateful towards Christians. Maybe you've been abused by the church. Maybe you've been abused by people who have claimed to be Christian, okay? But God is love and homosexuality is a sin. And you need to make it right with God. Just like every other sin. I, I used to party and, and do a whole bunch of drugs and uh, have sex and fornicate and all these things I used to do before I was, uh, I was saved. And I've had to turn from those things. So homosexuals out there, you need to turn from your sin. Okay? You cannot continue in it. And that's what Kim is trying to lovingly share with you. Okay? So that on the day of judgment, you don't face a holy, righteous God. But anyways... Just wanted to share this all with you. More insanity coming out. People trying to paint, you know, Bible-believing Christians who stand firm on the truth of God as hateful bigots, as part of a psychological operation to mind control the masses uh, for the big end-time Christian hatred that is brewing. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Remember, stay vigilant and fear no evil.